The Sopwith Aviation Company of Great Britain unveiled a pair of new aircraft that debuted during the Somme Offensive. The one-and-a-half strutter was designed as a fighter, reconnaissance aircraft, and light bomber. A 110-horsepower Clerget rotary engine powered this versatile two-seater to speeds of 100 miles per hour. This Sopwith was the first British airplane to come equipped with a synchronized machine gun for the pilot's use. The observer protected the aircraft's tail with a ring-mounted Lewis gun. Eventually, more than 5,000 one-and-a-half strutters would be built and delivered to the Royal Flying Corps. Sopwith also began deliveries of its newest single-seat fighter, the Pup. With a top speed of 110 miles per hour, the Sopwith Pup came armed with a single synchronized Vickers machine gun and was generally considered a delight to fly, possessing first-class handling attributes and a service ceiling of 17,000 feet. The first Pups arrived in France in limited numbers with the Royal Naval Air Service, but by the end of the year were being deployed to RFC squadrons in greater quantities. A third new machine had also been developed by the Sopwith Company, but it would not reach service until the following year. The Sopwith triplane was built along the same general lines as the excellent Pup fighter, but with three wings of shorter length and cord, it offered better maneuverability and a quicker rate of climb. When the airplane eventually reached combat, it would be with the Royal Naval Air Service, where it would have a brief but spectacular career. The French Air Service was also treated to a fine new fighter with the introduction of the SPAD-7. Fast and sturdy, the SPAD was one of the most rugged machines to see action during the war. Powered by a 175 horsepower Hispano Sueza engine, it could achieve a top speed of nearly 120 miles per hour in level flight and considerably more in a dive without losing its wings. Although the plane wasn't as maneuverable as the Newport fighters that were in such wide use in the French air service, it could outdive anything in the air and endure a remarkable amount of punishment in battle. When the famous Storks group began its transition to the new fighter, George Guinamere was one of the first men to fly it in combat. He immediately proved its effectiveness with a spectacular string of successes. By the close of 1916, Guinamir was France's highest ranked ace with a score of 25 victories. For Guinamir, greater fame was still to come, and the SPAD fighter would forever after be associated with the unassuming French hero.